Robert Vance is playing great. Rob is a player I can see that's very capable of going to the next level. Rob is a great jump shooter, great shooter, period. After sitting out the 2006-2007 season as a transfer, Indianapolis native and former Indiana Hoosier standout Robert Vaden had a historic first season for the Blazers. The junior averaged 21 points per game and led the nation in three-point field goals made per game. He was named Conference USA's Newcomer of the Year and was voted first team all-conference for his performance. Besides watching UAB play uh, here at Bartow, I really couldn't watch basketball on TV. Uh, it was really hard for me because I love I loved to play basketball. It's been my whole life. Just sitting out, it really hurt, it really hurt inside. I think in the long run, it's really going to help me out as a basketball player. Having Robert sit out last year, it gave him a drive. It made him hungry. You know, to come out here and you know, take Conference USA by storm. It really helped me out to, to know how hard I had to play and know how, how much I anticipated I had to bring to the game. I think Robert has done a wonderful job in taking over the team and leading the victory. And so I just think sitting out last year just gave him that gave him that drive. And I think Robert's very hungry right now. Vaden's junior season got off to a modest start until he broke out against National Powerhouse Kentucky when he scored 28 second half points and finished with 33 in the game. The Blazers and a chance to make it a two or a one point game. Right wing, Vaden, wide open, good from three again. Robert Vaden left alone, cans his sixth three. Timeout, Kentucky with 8.02 left in the game here in Louisville. Despite the team being down 14 points in the second half, Vaden led the Blazers to a dramatic come from behind win over the Wildcats in Louisville. The second half of that Kentucky game that we played, it was kind of unreal. The second half that I had, uh, I was in the zone. I felt like everything that I was going to throw up was going in. And I was really looking to set back screens and cut real hard to get open because I know if I got open, then it was going to go down. While you're in the game, it's really like uh, I'm trying to get this win. I'm really not thinking about how many shots that I'm making. I really didn't know at that point that I had 28 points in the second half. So, you know, Robert's performance is great. That's the type of performance a big-time player like him is capable of every night. Those shots that I made in the second half, it really gave me a lot of confidence going into the next games. And, uh, I've really been on the roll since then. By deciding to put off the NBA and return for his senior season, Vaden will have one more year with head coach Mike Davis, the man he followed from Indiana to UAB. Despite starting every game in his career for the Hoosiers and garnering all Big Ten honors, Vaden chose to come to UAB with Coach Davis, a man he considers to be a father figure and who has motivated him to become one of the nation's elite players. When I was at Indiana my freshman and sophomore year, I was in the gym a little bit shooting, working out, but uh, he really got on me when I was sitting out this past year to get in the gym and make sure that I get as many shots up as I can. And uh, he seen me here every day. I was in here every day of the summer, every day after practice. Robert has a great work ethic. You know, during the summer, being here with Robert, he'll come to the gym three hours, three hours at a time, just working on his jump shot. And you know, I'm like, Robert, don't you get tired? So you never get tired of shooting a jump shot, you know? His main focus is just coming in and just getting his jump shot as pure as possible. And you know, I think Robert has done that. And you know, as the fans can see, his jump shot is just pure. I said the only difficult part about leaving Indiana University was uh, just that I left so many friends and family. I loved my teammates that was there. DJ White, AJ Radliff, all those guys, I loved them. Other than that, it was a pretty easy, easy decision basketball-wise because I knew Coach Davis had my best interest and I knew that, that we were going to work well together.